Hello guys, Josh Manchester Phoenix, and I'm back fighting the zombie horde. The uh, flag ass horde, we'll call it right now. So, uh, left you at this point. Bit of, uh, bit of a cliffhanger, but you were eager to see this next video, for all five of you. <laughs> so, do you have to put, just put the cat side back? So, open the gate again. There's a little surprise from that uh, lovely couple there that I killed. I'm so evil. And I am totally hurt, luckily enough. I don't I have health and I don't think I'm going for the egg instead of but that obviously wow that did give me a lot of health. Bloody hell. Uh, yes, so uh, a lot of zombies now. Oh my god, I said it again. Plagas, what plagas now. Um, a bit annoying but the shotgun just takes care of them. Lots of women. No, the women, I'm not even joking, I swear the women do take a lot more uh, damage. They take like three, two shots. And then like all the men, just like one shot. I don't know what the game creators are trying to get on. But get the women like to walk like for five miles before they uh, fall to the ground after their heads get shot off, which is really weird. So now we're going to enter the church. The church in which we're going to find I don't know. And it's locked and we have to go to the stupid menu just to get this key out. So here we go. It's gonna be fun. Gonna read the Bible for a bit. Or not. Yeah, I, was, I didn't know what to do here and I thought a shotgun would be best because it'd be easiest to take all three out. And I got it wrong second go and I miss. I'm gonna waste my shot there. I'm gonna waste my shot there. I'm gonna kill the boat. So, yeah. Not a bad shotgun, actually. Can't get that with Lee on. It looks pretty cool, but the only thing I don't like about separate ways is that you, you can't upgrade your guns, which is really stupid. Just gotta keep them the way they are, which is great. With the purple gem. Gonna be using that soon for the elegant mask. Actually, I think I might get it. Are we in the next video? No, no, I'll get the other one. So we'll go up the stairs. I don't know where the hell these guys are. And... Not there. No, there's one! Ah, oh, I forgot to go in that room, actually. Now I wish you could do what you can do with Resident Evil 5 right now, where you stomp on the head, because it just takes them out so, you know, easier. And you don't have to back around shit on the floor because they take like 50 bullets. Again, it's really annoying when you shoot them in the leg and they, you can't fan kick them or kick them or punch them. And that guy, I don't know what the hell he was doing. I just, I just don't think he was listening. I mean, I've, I've been shooting for like, like, well, I've been shooting a lot of bullets and he's just standing there looking at the snake glass and going, "Oh, that's pretty stinky ass." So ammo. The creatures in this game always have some good stuff, other than minus the snakes, that is. Now, could have got the sniper rifle right here, but I couldn't be arsed. So I just wasted like half my ammo. Now, uh, this bit's annoying, so I'm just going to speed this up. Okay, so I've really sped this bit up, because I think it was three minutes long. I was getting so really annoyed with this. Is uh, obviously you've got to make the symbol of uh, I think it's Sadler's family symbol or Salazar's. I'm not sure. I can't tell. I can't tell their family symbols. And I thought I had it because I remember looking on the website because it's the first time I did this again. Just like the key thing outside, I had to go on the internet. And uh, I I swear it said one green, two uh, no one red, two green, and then three blue, and that wasn't it. <laughs> In fact. It, that's quite ironic because in a minute you're um, going to see. Should be about now actually. Yeah, and now I'm like hitting my head against the desk I'm, that I'm sitting in front of. Going, fucking hell, when the hell? As you, yeah, look, right there, can you believe it? It's upside out. No, it's it's the right way around. That's the way it actually turns around. So I had to figure out what. Yeah, there you go, I did it. Finally did it, but. <clears throat> you know, the way I had it before, that's the way it was going to turn around anyway, so does it matter? Oh, la campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Now they all 
got some face. They are zombies now, to be honest. Look at Lord Sutler. He's my wife. <laughs> Where's everyone going? Bingo? Yeah, didn't you know? It's like the weekly game, idiot. <clears throat> and now we have an opening after... Now we have the opening credit uh, title of the um, uh, game we're playing off the planet for like two hours. That was good. Oh, I've got a Here's video. Here's what I know so far. Osmond Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They've resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. Though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family, Castellans for generations, possess the ability to control Las Plagas. The organization's hypothesis is that a unique frequency of sonic wave sensed only by the parasites is used to control them. The same principle used in dog whistles. This was inferred through the analysis of a tissue sample we retrieved. The tissue contained an organ presumably used for sensing sound waves. I've seen cult members carrying ceremonial rods, and I wonder if they emit these sounds. Of course, this is purely theoretical. The organization needs sound. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to interrupt Ada. Uh, this is Judge. No, I oh, don't. Yeah. Judge Manchester Phoenix, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and please enjoy the rest of the movie. I'll see you in part four. The opening moves in this chess game have been played. There's no turning back now. <laughs> 